this week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to enhance your small multiples. So last week, Chris Love um, explained how to create the small multiples using index, and Andy Kriebel's famous blog allows you to calculate the number of squares that makes it easier for small multiples. So this time I'm going to show you how to use a parameter to increase or decrease the amount of columns and rows that you are seeing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our columns calculation. Now what this is doing is it's taking the index minus one, so index is going to give you a new number per segment and then taking 1 because it always starts at 1 and we want it to start at 0 and then we're just going to leave that there first and we're going to create our parameter so we're just going to call this squares and then if we go to integer range min and a max of 10 and a step size of 1 now if we go back into our columns calculation what we want to do now is we want to use the percent sign this is going to give you a modular so what a modular does is it allows you to divide by a particular number and give you a number back. So if I go divide by squares, this is then going to give me the number linked back to index minus one of modular squares. So if I click OK on that and then show the parameter control and make this go up to three and then I'm just going to duplicate this and then change this to rows and instead of modular we're going to use divide and hit OK. So now first thing off is I'm going to turn these into discrete and now I'm going to add them to my view. So if I add them in here and then we're just going to add subcategory to detail. So it's not done anything yet because we've not told it how to compute using. So if we click the little drop down, compute using subcategory, and then compute the rows using subcategory as well, you can then see that something is broken. So what is broken here is we want to make sure that this is an integer, not a decimal. So we just wrap the whole thing in an int and hit apply, and then we have our integer numbers back. If we hit entire view, you can see now we have three columns across the top. And then if I change this, it's going to just keep open it and open it depending on how many we want. So now we've got eight columns and two rows. And then, so let's just finish this off. So what we want to do is we want to add um, order date to columns and make sure it's continuous. And then we want to convert it to discrete because Tableau doesn't like it if there's months missing. And then add sales to rows. And then the last thing is we're just going to format this. No, nope, we're going to format the sum of sales, sorry, on the pane. And we're going to connect the lines so that we've always got those lines connected. And then finally, unshow the header. And as you can see, we keep moving it up and down depending on our number of squares that we wanted.